Um, what do you do for Thurrock? Okay, we provide services in the main to young people. We have one adult service, um, which is our housing service, has, um, which is housing advice support service um, for 18 plus. And for young people, we have in Thurrock, I don't know if you want me to, to list all of, the, all of the services or not, but in the main, we support um, children therapeutically through counselling. Um, we support children through mentoring. Uh, coaching, um, advocacy, and also we work with children that go missing in, in, in the area. Okay, um, so in what way does your group benefit people that live here? We're able to offer um, a free service to children when they're experiencing difficulties in, in any guise really, whether it's through counselling, whether they're going missing and they're having difficulties at home, whether they feel that their voice is not being heard from an advocacy point of view, if they feel they need a role model or some goal setting. Um, we also offer a SIP uh, service, which is social isolation for those children that have been in the care system. So we, we like to think that in some ways we're the voice of a child in Thurrock that they may not have um, in, in, in any other way. Okay, um, so how do you get your funding? Our funding comes from lots of different sources. We apply for grants, we um, apply for tenders through Thurrock Council. So we have a number of contracts through Thurrock Council, but we also um, have a number of grants through different um, organisations. Okay, and uh, what would you say has been the greatest achievements of your company? I guess that when we, um, when we had the drug and alcohol service, uh, we, were, we, were, we were top of our, um, top of the table to some extent in terms of um, successful outcomes for drug and alcohol users in the whole of the Eastern region. And that was a really big achievement that Thorough Council also recognised um, the success of the, the work we were doing with, with adults. But I guess really, I'd like to say the success is that we do a lot of meaningful work with young people um, and, and that counts. How important do you think your work is for young people in this area? Oh, I think it's incredibly important. Um, you speak to most young people, they've heard of Open Door. They know that Open Door is available and that when, when they're struggling, when they're finding things difficult, um, I, even now, somebody might have worked, had an open door worker at some point in their life and they'll still remember them um, or they'll come back if they're, if they're having any further difficulties so that we can support them in many different ways. So I think that's, 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 you know, that's really important. And what sort of frustrations does your organisation face? I guess the frustrations are that contracts are time limited. So we might get a three year contract or even a one year contract and, and we're just getting our teeth into the service and the delivery of the service and then it comes to an end. We can't always compete with the big nationals, we don't have the, the um, infrastructure that the big nationals have that come in and, and, and tend to offer very glitzy packages um, for, for tender writing. Um, we'll, you know, we're, we're in Thurrock, we've been in Thurrock almost 40 years. We're very proud to be part of Thurrock and to offer to Thurrock people um, services that we think are really important. Um, and we might get overlooked in, in those sometimes because we are a very small charity in the scheme of things and, and in comparison to the, the big nationals that are out there. So I guess the frustration is that we don't have anything always, there's a fragility in our services that we can't always offer that longevity. Mm. And how many members of staff do you have? I think at the last count we have about 25 members of staff, but we have volunteers um, and we have placement um, counsellors as well. So yeah, we probably, we probably work with a, probably about 30, in, 30 members of staff. Do you know roughly how many people you help every year? I could have provided you with that. <laughs> it's thousands, thousands. I want to say about 4,000 because obviously every contact, as far as we're concerned, has some meaningful um, delivery. So, yeah, thousands, thousands each year.